Welcome to Purity Class for January 2020. The topic is the necessity of a time alone with Him. For Let's turn to Psalm 119, verse 97. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. The lesson objective says, the Puritans understand how to have time to read God's word. Lesson thrust. Thought is the root of all actions. The more we think on a subject, the tighter the grips are on us and determines what we become. We cannot avoid the protection of our thoughts in action. If a person's mind dwells long enough on any single idea, that idea will affect the person's behavior. These facts give the basis for a clearing of the mind, and this is done by a change of thought. In the course of your purity class study sessions, you will find a section called Time Alone with Him, which consists of a series of scriptures related to the lesson and in fact are lesson themselves. The purpose is to give each Puritan an opportunity to clear the thoughts of the day or begin each day with a renewing of your minds. However, you may be wondering, how do I arrange this time? Here are some simple pointers. Set priorities. Decide what is most important and do it first. Be determined, even if it means getting up a little earlier or going to bed a little later. Be consistent. Choose and let nothing come between. Be regular. Do it every day. Try for the same time and place. Be rested. Let this be your best time, not your worst. Be expectant. Look and listen for God to speak to you through his word. Anything worth having is worth fighting for, and things that last do not come easy. Make a schedule of your activities for the week and include a priority list. Now we're going to look at Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 5. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. The verse highlighted here is verse 5. So we being many are one body in Christ and every one members one of another. So we work together with other members in the body. Now let's turn back to Psalm chapter 100, Psalm 119. And we are going to read verses 9 through 15. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy statutes. With my lips 
have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. The verse is to highlight 9 to 11. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Now let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Verses 10 through 15. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them for ensembles, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So the verse to highlight is the 13th verse. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. God is with us. The Lord is with us. Now let's look at Philippians chapter 4, verses 5 through 10. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. The verse to look at in there is verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Keep your mind going in the right direction, leaning towards Jesus. Spend time alone with Jesus in his word. God bless you and thank you for joining us today. 